So, for about two decades, I lived in this spot down Adams Boulevard uh, in, in Los Angeles. And um, it was a wonderful place, absolutely wonderful. Uh, grew a lot there, became a better person, better artist. You know, really grew into myself. Um, place had a wonderful community about it. You know, just kind of centered. You know, there's a kind of art space, um, living space, making space, and so yeah, I developed a community around it, and I really had a good, some good people, good memories. Um, but uh, anyways, while I was there, you know, there was some. There was a couple markets. There's a market and a liquor store nearby. And I'd hit this market up like, you know, three times a week. So I was just buying food for myself and I'd buy it in small portions. And, um, and so I'd come by a few times a week and get, and get uh, some groceries. But uh, what I noticed outside the door, on the sidewalk, in the gutter, all around, were these these California lottery scratchers. And they're everywhere, just like, and every day I would see them, so many. And imagine people scratching them off and not winning. <laughs> and then tossing them on the, on the floor. Um, you know, the neighborhood's a poor neighborhood. So, you know, there, there are statistics about who, who buys most of these lottery ticket scratchers. Um, which, which demographic, you know, just people buying hope, you know, hope for a better life, dream about, you know, not having to worry about money and work and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I found these, the, these scratchers to be really powerful. And, um, you know, like, I, I thought, like, I was also attracted to the, to the design on them. They're really colorful, very, very colorful and bright and playful and, you know, it's a game. Let's have fun. Buy this scratcher and you'll have fun. Fun and maybe win a million, billion dollars that you're not going to win. But, um, yeah. So, I, I noticed they were on the ground all the time. I started collecting a few, and I was going to make a collage out of them when I got enough. And, and anyone who's ever done it, anyone who's ever done any collage making, knows that a lot of it is just about organization and collecting stuff and um, sorting it and storing it and all the things that go along with that. And at the same time, there was this homeless couple, uh, Yvonne and Maynard. And, you know, they had their, their issues, but I would consider them my friends. Um, and Yvonne, uh, every day, would just knock on my door and ask for some change. And I knew, she, well, um, yeah, she asked for some change every day. And I felt like I was kind of enabling her. And maybe it wasn't the best just to like give money to people for nothing. Um, and that maybe she would have more value for herself if she earned it. And also at the same time kind of help me collect some lottery tickets. So I told her just, if you bring me some lottery tickets, when you bring me lottery tickets in exchange, I'll give you whatever change I have. And so she did. Uh, and she did it two, three, four times a week. Now I got on my door with a grocery bag, like a grocery bag full of spent lottery, California lottery scratchers. And these, these scratchers, they were like, they were, they were dirty. <laughs> they had been stepped on. They had been torn, some of them. They, had, they were curled and crumpled and had, booze <laughs> spilt on them uh but bless her heart she collected all these lottery tickets and and then like several times a week would come and she did this for a few years to the point where i had 
just boxes and boxes of, of scratchers and so many duplicates of different styles and, and colors. And, um, so in the mid 2000s, these, these Buddhist monks came to LA to do a sand painting and they did it over the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Um, the, there, you know, the sand paintings are a trip. They're, at least in, in this context, they're, they're very temporal, just temporary. And this brings in, you know, they're, they're meant to be destroyed, yet they're the hugely elaborate designs and really quite beautiful. And, and the, the monks were doing it in the shape of mandalas, which are spiritual um, symbols for them. Um, stuff to, to meditate on and think about and and it's actually quite, you don't even have to be Buddhist to really think about the temporariness of of life and these precious things and what context that can have and, and like there's wisdom in that and on so many levels I really really love these 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 sand paintings that they did and so I wanted to do something that was inspired by that and I did a mandala with my, my lottery tickets here. And uh, I sorted it by color. Of course, it's nothing like theirs. It's my own, my own interpretation, my own whatever I'm bringing to it. Um, but yeah, so I collected these lottery tickets and then arranged them by, by color. So this is alternating yellow, green, yellow, green. There's a band of diamonds and a band of other diamonds. And, um, Blue, orange, green, something else. Um, yeah. So I took them all and I built these these structures because it's uh, it's made out of wood. Um, I didn't need, needed to make something to support it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyways, yeah. This is my lottery ticket mandala. And it's probably about, I would say 10 feet. It's, I've measured it a few times, but I forget. Um, but yeah, it's probably at least 10 feet by 10 feet wide. I'm gonna step back so I can kind of get the whole wholeness of it. And there it is. I hope you dig it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Peace.